Okay, welcome to You Can Do It. This is part of our Hosanna 3 series or 357 rebuild series. We're just going to do a um, squish test on this. So the whole point is to run this without a, a gasket. I've done the exhaust mod. There'll be a separate video on that. But I'm going to run this without a gasket. So <clears throat> for all of you guys that are out there trying to do that, just before you take the gasket off and fire it all up and blow everything up, you need to make sure that you've got your, your squishes is uh, okay and the squish is the, the distance between the, the top e this edge of the piston here the top edge and and in there basically you just don't want it to uh if you can actually look in there all right you basically just don't want your piston to hit the top of the, uh, the cylinder closest to the side wall here so that's the that's the narrowest narrowest bit there so the way we do that so we we've got this surface clean we've got that surface clean we'll put this onto here let me just get that on hang on i have two hands to do that make sure you don't trap the ring there we are yeah she's on put that down there right so that's all flat on there without a gasket without any seal or anything so then what we'll do we'll just put two bolts in on the diagonal let me just on the di diagonal across here so we'll do that i'll just put those two in now just use our impact driver, put that in there, get it centered and then there we are. Same on the other side here. <clears throat> okay, now because we stripped the whole saw down and completely stripped down, we need some way of turning turning the turning the uh, the crank over. So what I'm gonna do here is just quickly put on the the flywheel on here quickly just so that I can turn the crank so let me go and get the flywheel take the flywheel, flywheel. obviously if you, if you haven't stripped it down you haven't got this problem because it's all together so it's just it's a you can just uh, turn it it's a one but as I've stripped it down I'm gonna quickly loose, loosely put this on there we go so we can turn that over plugs out <clears throat> Right, so you just need a pair of vernier calipers, which we've got here, set that to zero. I've got millimetres, you can do it millimetres or inches. Too. So basically you don't want to be anything lower than 20 thousandths of an inch. Right, so I set that to inches, which is basically which is half a millimetre. So there's 40 thousandths of an inch basically to a millimetre. So if I turn that up there to inches, We'll get that ready to set. So then, the last but not least, is you want some sort of solder. Now, I've got some solder here. What we need to do, you've got your piston there and your, and your uh, gudgeon pin goes across this way. So you want to be measuring the, the squish here and here. Now, if you're trying to measure it there and there, then there's a slight uh, rock in the piston. Uh, so you're not going to get a, a, a clear, you might have a bit, you'll think you've got a bigger squish than you really have. So you need to be doing it across the, across the gudgeon pin. So what we do there is, now this, this circle here, is sort of going to tell you the centre of that is roughly the centre of your piston. So you need to be putting that down the hole there and then across there to the, till you hit the side wall. So you want to just get yourself, so you sort of roughly know where that is. So you put it in there, look. So on this, on this case, needs to be down to about there so you put it in like that down to about there and across until it hits the side wall so it's hitting the side wall here yeah now you hold that there like that and then I turn the I'm gonna put you back on the stand here you're there so then what you do is you turn that there the pistons up the top pistons at the top and then just force it round a little bit more there we are there we are so then what you've got there look you see how that's crushed there and we're looking for the measurement right at the end here okay so let's get our vernier calipers excuse me so if i put my vernier calipers on there i just do it right on the end i've got 35 there 29 28, 28.5, 29, 29 to 30. So that's plenty. There's plenty of uh, 
So I'll do the other side now. Okay, I've put a nice, nice cut fresh end on there and we'll do the same on the other side here. Get it for the middle in there, down like that. Make sure your piston's at the top so you don't stick it in a port or something. There we are, goes in easy. Right, she's at the top there. So she's in there at the side. Turn that over. Well, that's a nice crushed bit there. Stick it right, stick it like up. Oh, I think the phone is on the end. Yeah, look, 26. 26.5. 26 so we're good. We're good to go. So therefore, we know that the, the squish is safe. So this cylinder and piston are safe to be bolted down tight without a gasket. So your cylinder, there's about 26 thou between the top of the piston and the, the top of the cylinder in here. So we're good to go. So that is a quick and easy way to check your squish. Well, that is how you, you check your squish. So now, if you want to continue with this series, just follow on and um, I'm going to now actually start building this saw up. You can do it.